Welcome back everyone, I am the Depressed Eeyore, and this is War of the Human Tanks. I apologize for starting this in the middle of something, but I was not expecting an event to pop up. Um, so what I was doing is I was grinding some free, uh, for some free battles, and I got the Samurai unit, and it didn't seem to have any upgrades beyond that, but it did have the name by the, it, it was one of the requirements for the, the 400,000, um, um, scout unit that was supposed to be like a uh, zero one version or whatever. So I did a bunch of runs, got a bunch of supplies, and I started developing it. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna go take a look at what this thing does. And when I started the free uh, free bat battle or whatever, it took me to this. So let's go ahead and just uh, go through this little event here, the smart radar. Yep, not only can it scout out enemy tanks like usual, but it can calculate the positions of other enemy tanks too. Calculate? Well, it means that it's capable of scouting a greater area because its calculations are 100% accurate. Aha, so you're talking about a new model of scout tank. So, you can finally assemble that smart radar. That's pretty good news. Alright then, let's assemble it at once. Watch that, big bro. Koharu? Whoa! Oh, it's you, Captain. Koharu, you came back! And I see Hashiko is here, too. Second Lieutenant Choko, you have my deepest gratitude for this man. Does that tank know Hashiko? This tank is one of the Zero One series units that used to fight in Big Bro's core. That's so. I don't really get it, but I take it that it's a great, a great tank. By the way, how much supplies do we need to put one together? Oh, God. Well, we might have to do something like discarding tanks that we no longer need. Let's treasure the one that we just assembled. I think that's a marvelous sentiment. Gohara, to celebrate your return, I'll let you share my cola. I want dialect diet cola. But now assemble Gohara. He gave me an achievement. Okay, let's take... That actually gave me a free uh, Gohara. It did, it gave me a free Gohara. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this thing. Oh my god, this thing's amazing. All right, um, let's compare. This is Kuro. This is what I've been using with plus two scouting area and plus one scouting range. So three movement, two speed, two sight range, five scouting range, five scouting area. Kuharu. Three movement, three speed, three sight range, zero scouting range, but it has eight scouting area which is pretty amazing. And shooting range is 4 and shooting area is 2, so it can actually hold its own in combat as well. So let's go ahead and take out the scouting area, and we'll put it on Koharo here. There's also the god eyes, which I have no idea what those do. Infinite. 9. Infinite. So if you hit 10 on something, it apparently gives you infinite. Okay, that's pretty amazing. So let's go ahead and um, we'll try to test out this thing and see how it does. So let's go ahead and deploy. Uh, the mission we're doing right now is the um, the one where you hunt the rogue um, tanks. So I apologize for redoing a fight, but I might as well show this thing off while I still can. So apparently, maybe if we continue building up these um, other um, research routes, we can unlock more of the original team that um, was part of um, this guy's core or whatever. Anyway. Just trying to get this set up as quickly as possible. Don't worry, this fight won't take long. I'm very curious to find out what this thing can do. That should be good. I'm very glad it gave us one for free though, because 
ten. Me. It was four hundred thousand um, supply to research her. These matches become a lot easier once you know exactly where everything starts at. So, Wide Rage Recon, huh? Okay, so you have a Wide Rage Recon that I guess you can only use once a match? That's amazing. I don't even know how to react to this. Okay, so I moved over there. So I have everything revealed. I don't know how long this lasts. So not only does she have a 10 range point blank uh, radar, she has the wide range radar that apparently reveals everything. Uh, that thing moved. That's a little annoying. But not the end of the world. I'm so glad I, I focused entirely on scouting at first, because scouts really do make a difference. Being able to see exactly where everything is makes things a lot easier, so you don't just stumble upon the enemy. What's even better is I don't actually need to use uh, uh, Hoshiko. So can I use this more than once, or is this okay? It's a one. It's a once per um, per map. But it's still pretty useful because I can just recon like crazy. All right, let's go ahead and end this match. So I guess I'm what if I continue on the, um, the artillery route, maybe perhaps I can get um, Mazamune back. So yeah, that was pretty amazing. Koharu requires 300,000 crates. Makes sense. Okay, well, that could be worse, I guess. Alright, now if I want to, I can... Oh, I don't have enough. Wouldn't mind uh, continuing on with the shock tank, just to get it done with, but... Probably be better if I did something with like the destroyer and stuff like that. So we'll definitely do that instead. Uh, we do need to get a Hinatawari, a spare one. So I'll go ahead and get a spare one just in case. 
And let's go ahead and save our game. Because that's amazing. And we'll continue on from here. So, a bit of a little detour there. Next episode, let's do it. Dahone Core. This elite core directed by Shotaro Dahone uh, delivered unparalleled results which d helped uh, raise the empire to its glory. But just once they fought an uphill battle. During that battle, Shotaro's body was rent and he was bleeding profusely, separated from most of his followers. That was the first and last time he f his force faced defeat. So bitter. Captain, are you alright, sir? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, I'm getting the core back to their feet immediately, sir. Assault team, annihilate the enemies ahead. No, stop it. Negative, sir. We will definitely win this battle, sir. Don't be an idiot. It's impossible. Human tanks obey, obey their commanding officers unquestionably. They rejoin, rejoice in performing a good service to them. Even through sacrificing their own lives, they fulfill their duties. You bunch of idiots. While the human tanks possess greater physical prowess than human beings, they are slightly lacking in intellectual power. Yet they use everything they have to fight thinking only of their superiors, to bring victory uh, to their captains and to protect them. Believing firmly in that purpose, one human tank after another throws herself into the war. Captain, are you okay, sir? It's you, Mio. You're horribly injured. What happened to you, sir? I have never seen you like this before. I fell for the H uh, headquarters ruse. What? So it's not human tanks that uh, did this to you, sir? Guess not. Let me treat you, sir. There's no point now. I won't last much longer. No, Captain, you must not say such a thing, sir. Listen, there's something more important. I need you to stop them. Stop who, sir? Hashiko and all the other tanks. Why is that, sir? I believe they are all fighting for your sake, sir. They don't need to die for nothing, so make them retreat. Please don't be ridiculous, sir. I'm begging you. Copy that. I'm supposed to stop them, correct, sir? Yes. But Shotaro... Do you realize that this order of yours is an act of betrayal against all human tanks who serve you? Episode 12, what the sword is for. The Great Fuji Forest. The thickly woven sea of trees under the shadow of mountains is shunned by both armies as being too harsh for humans to march in. Thus, even though, uh, though passing through the huge forest is a shortcut to the royal capital, nobody in the Imperial Army will even think of venturing in. In spite of that, there is now an Imperial Corps exploring there. Are you sure this is the place? No mistake. Even if Miyu uh, fo really mentioned Fuji, this forest is so broad, how are we supposed to find her in here? That That's true, but we can't find her if we're not here. Second Lieutenant, I understand your feelings, but I still don't think it's a good idea to come here now of all times. Still, Headquarters is keeping a close watch on us. We probably won't get another chance after the Imperial Army reaches the Royal Capital. I'm sorry for being so felt selfish, big bro. No worries, I'm pretty sure we'll see Mio here. Mio, that human tank who fights as a commander in the Royal Army. For a human tank to do that is surprise, uh, surprise enough, but it's even it's more surprising for her to be over uh, here while the Royal Capital is under a, cri a crisis. Choco, don't you think she might have fooled you to keep us away from the Royal Capital? Hey bro, do you re uh, really think she'd do something crooked like that? She wouldn't have before, but none of us know about the way she is now. I believe you, 2nd Lieutenant Shoko. Oh? What makes you say that? I don't know myself. Maybe my intuition as a staff officer is telling me she's right. Thank you so much, Sato. Ah, uh, now I look i look like a jerk. Fine, let's just find Mio already. But it's obvious that we need some sort of plan. Uh, some sort of a plan. If we just walk around at random, we'll get lost for sure. Seto, is there a problem? Lieutenant, don't you find it hard to breathe here? No, I don't have any trouble. It must be uh, because of the, high, uh, the density of radiotoxic particles around here is very high. What? A lot of radiotoxic particles were measured around here uh, years ago. We must be near one of the points where the particles are dense. It's dangerous to be here then. Lieutenant, we better fall back. Don't worry, it's still not strong enough to harm humans. If my memory serves me correctly, this part of the forest is called the Sanctuary. Sanctuary? Some say that the radiotoxic particles emerged from here in this forest and spread all across Japan. Really? Uh-huh. 
for that reason, then there might be out of control human tanks or unknown creatures lurking about here. Or that's what an urban legend says anyway. Is it true or not? Not sure if it's thanks to that story, but nobody usually visits this huge forest. This is some place uh, Mew has gotten us into. A place no one will even approach. If you're up to no good, this is a perfect sort of place, huh? Like what? For one thing, developing a new type of human tank. Who's that? Hey, Mio. Mio! There you are, Mio. What do you mean, developing a new human tank? Shotara, what are you here for? Give me a break, please. You're the one who called me here. You could have ignored me and just headed for the royal capital. Oh. Sorry about that. There you are, da da da, Shatara, give me a break. You're the one to call me here. You could have ignored me and just headed for the royal capital. Alright, hello, you are saying something very contradictory. Mio. Sorry about that, guys. Mio, I don't know, uh, know nothing about your past, but I... Or sorry, I know nothing about your past, but I don't understand how it's possible for you to disobey orders despite being a human tank. They enhanced my thinking capacity. Enhanced your thinking capacity? That's right, they made me as smart as a human, and I have become able to command other human tanks. Yeah, but isn't that a taboo? Who did that to you? That's working at the combat and technology department of the Royal Army. So that's why you are on the kingdom side. We are with the Imperial Army, you shouldn't have told us that, should you? There's no one left to accuse me anymore. What do you mean? What did you do? Mio? Everyone at the department is dead. I killed them all. You murdered your superior officers. That's insane. You're no longer a human tank. You're just a machine that's malfunctioning. Then why not stop me? Gecko. Oh god, not another one. That, that tank is... This is what human tanks will become. Well, they will become. Explain yourself. Lieutenant, that's the human tank we fought back at the Mine Yahada base. This tank was made using forbidden technology. Mio, is that what you, ki uh, what you killed those people for? What? No more talking, Shortara. I'll show you the strength of my katana. Looks like she's not going to listen to us. But, bro, what do we do? Captain, I need your order, sir. Hashiko. Best way to make Mio listen is with, uh, with a rifle, sir. Very well, Hashiko. Get ready to sortie. All tanks, prepare for battle. Great. So it says assault units are effective. Mio wears a coat that helps her evade attacks. Okay. Noted. Alright, let's deploy. Looks like we gotta set up like this again. So, the good news is I can keep Hashiko back for at least the first uh, few, round, uh, few moments as we use Kohara to take everything care of everything else. Being able to see exactly where everything is at the beginning of the round of the match is going to be amazing, to say the least. All right, we have eleven. I'll go ahead and assemble some. Seki Gaharas, which have Imperial overcoats. Do, do, do. And their weapon is an anti-tank EM Kanata instead of a katana. Alright, let's um So let's deploy our chitos as well, just in case. That leaves us with one slot open. Let's, um... I got one more of these guys, don't I? Yes, I do. Okay. 
Okay, let's sorty. Wide rate recon. Holy cow, there. Look at her. Alright. Sheesh, look at all that. Kohar- What's her name? Koharu? She's the best scout ever. Now, I don't know what these people are. Already firing, huh? Thing you missed. Trying to see where I can aim. That'll do the most damage. Hmm, not exactly the best, but it'll do. Oh, these things are upgraded scouts. That's what they are. I'm just not used to seeing them like that. They also have some upgraded ant uh, interceptors as well. So the sooner we take out the scouts, the better. Loading on her. Evaded. 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 Whoa, what'd you just do? Wow! That is impressive.
There we go. Okay, one samurai down. More of them coming. Probably sent her to her death there, but that's okay. Just barely missed. Amazing. Alright, I know you're gonna end up dying, but we need to take you out. Another evasion. hits. Still need to get two more. They're just shooting random areas now. A random hit. all the samurai besides um, Shio or Mio sorry oh that thing just fired not a good idea but I need you to die So close. One, two, three. I need this. I need her to die before she fires again. But that's not happening. Hit in. 
activate it again. Yeah, that's what I figured. I knew she was there. Gotcha. But it's not over yet. Alright. Okay, that's exactly what I needed. That should, uh, end you. Evasion's rough. Yay. We won, Lieutenant. Ugh. Yeah. Shatara, why? Why did I now explode? We intentionally avoided hitting any of your vital areas. Oh no, I tried to hit as many as possible. Intentionally? Don't spout nonsense. Don't you know why you're still alive? It's because you don't yet feel you have reached your limit. Big bro. Shoko, you go treat her. Don't touch me. Why? Just why am I not dead yet? Mazamune died. Koharo died. No, she's alive again. Everybody died vi valiantly. Why on earth can't I die like they did? You wish to die? Of course, that's the very reason for us human tanks to live. Big bro, I want you to forgive her. Yeah, you didn't explode because you think that there's still something you have to do here. That can't be true. You must still have some regrets. Lieutenant, you're speaking nonsense. There's no way that a human tank would have any regrets. I only have one regret. What? Now I understand, Shotaro. Is that why? Is that why I cannot die? Mio, can you please tell us your regret? Okay then, I'll tell you what, we will just smash down what's holding you back, and then nothing will stop you from dying anymore. This path leads to one of the kingdom's experimental facilities. With all the researchers gone, the radiotoxic particles have reached a critical level. Alright, are the, leaki uh, the particles leaking out of, of there? If nothing is done, the humans around this area will all be killed. That includes y uh, you too, Shotaro. That makes this simple then. If we just stop those particles from coming out, you'll be able to die without regrets. That Maybe so. Big bro, there's one more thing you have to do. Huh? What's that? You know what it is. Shotaro, I won't have to keep on living after you accomplish it, will I? After that, I'll get to fight for your sake and fall in battle, won't I? Yes, you can fight until you reach your limit and die. Acknowledged. Mio! What happened to her? She suddenly fell down. No worries, she just passed out. Geez, she scared the hell out of me. I believe that she's been forcing herself to work like crazy. Her whole... Uh, bodies were all worn out. Captain, what are we going to do with her? Joko. Roger that, big bro. I'm supposed to fix her, right? I'm counting on you. Ashiko, take her to our command post. Roger that, ma'am. You don't look very good, Soto. No, I'm fine. You sure? Is there something that doesn't sit right with you? This is a, a thoughtless outcome. Now Mio's on our side, and we also gained intelligence on one of the enemy, enemy facilities. There is, however, something bothering Lissolette Lissa Sato. Unlike uh, any other commander sh uh, she knows, Sh Shotaro treats human tanks in an extraordinary, extraordinary, in a different way. Even though she, he does 
consider them weapons, he goes beyond that, and it makes her think that he might be becoming a human tank himself. Yet she still lacks the courage to find out the truth of the matter. Alright. Doesn't look like there's anything new here. Now the question is, do I have... I do not. I do not have Shio yet. Alright. Also, I'm supposed to assemble her again. Nope, doesn't look like it. I only have standard um, Sekigahara um, samurai tanks at the moment. That's okay. I mean, Shio is pretty freaking overpowered anyway. She has four hitboxes that can all evade, and she has an attack that hits. Looks uh, six out, six uh, squares outwards, or sorry, three outwards, two wide in big four cardinal directions. Pretty crazy stuff. Now, what we can do though? Oh, we can actually go for the special conqueror tank. But I don't know. I think I want a destroyer. So many choices. Alright, I'll get started on that. And I'll probably try it out off screen, like I always do. So, I am the Depressed Dior, and this was War of the Human Tanks. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later.